This video is part two of how to run a Bitcoin Core node. In the previous video, I showed you how to verify your Bitcoin Core download. In this video, I'll show you how to actually get your Bitcoin Core node up and running. So I'm going to be running my node on my MacBook with a three terabyte external hard drive, but a one terabyte hard drive will do. For reference, my fully synced node currently takes about 550 gigabytes of storage. So let's get right into how to run a Bitcoin Core node. Just a quick recap of what we did in the previous video. I went to this site, bitcoincore.org. I clicked download at the top here and I downloaded Bitcoin Core for macOS. Next, I scrolled down to macOS verification instructions and I verified the authenticity of my download. And there we go. We can now start running our own Bitcoin Core node. The first thing we need to do is go to the file I downloaded from bitcoincore.org and I just need to double click on that. Then it's going to open this on my desktop over here, Bitcoin Core. So I double click on that and then I drag Bitcoin Core to my applications. And there we go. I can now eject this. And if I go to my applications, here is Bitcoin Core all the way at the top. So I'm going to double click on this and our Apple may show you this. Bitcoin Core can't be opened because Apple cannot check it for malicious software. So you can just ignore this. And the workaround is to just double click on Bitcoin Core and click open. And there you click open one more time and that will work. Now Bitcoin Core is going to open this screen. Welcome to Bitcoin Core. Now the first step is to choose where Bitcoin Core will store its data. So you'll basically need to choose where Bitcoin Core stores the blockchain. It should default to use a default data directory. But in our case, we need to select use a custom data directory. So I store the blockchain on an external hard drive and I recommend you do the same. So I'm going to quickly plug my hard drive into my computer. And here on my desktop, you can see my hard drive has appeared. So what we need to do is click these three dots on the right over here. And we need to tell Bitcoin Core where to download the blockchain to. So I'm going to select my hard drive and I'm going to create a new folder. And I'm going to call it Bitcoin Core Video and then click Create. Now on the bottom right here, I'm going to click Open. And here we can see the data directory for where Bitcoin Core will download to. So it's going to go to one of my volumes. It's going to go to my three terabyte hard drive and it's going to be saved in the folder called Bitcoin Core Video. So now when we click OK, Bitcoin Core will begin downloading and process the full blockchain with the earliest transactions in 2009. So this initial synchronization is very demanding and may expose hardware problems with your computer that have previously gone unnoticed. Now the last setting we can do over here is to limit the blockchain storage. So if you would like to prune your node instead of having a full node, you have the option to do that here. But in this video, we'll be running a full node. So I'm going to uncheck this box and now I'm going to select OK. And there we go, Bitcoin Core begins synchronizing. So now all we can do is leave Bitcoin Core running and wait for our node to synchronize with the rest of the blockchain. As we can see over here on mempool.space, we are currently on block 767782. So we have over 760,000 blocks to catch up on. And again, all we need to do is just leave Bitcoin Core running and eventually we will catch up. All right, so a few days have passed and my Bitcoin Core node is fully synced. This is the screen you will see when your node is up to date. And if I hover over the tick at the bottom right of my screen here, we can see it says up to date and it tells me how many blocks I have processed. It took me five days to fully sync my node. What I do is leave my computer charging with Bitcoin Core running overnight. And five nights later, I was fully synced. Remember that you can quit Bitcoin Core at any time. And when you reopen Bitcoin Core, it will just continue syncing from where you left off. So if I look over here, we can see that I am still up to date. Also, another tip, if you are experiencing issues with Bitcoin Core, you can simply quit it and start again and that should fix it. I often get that spinning colorful circle and just quitting Bitcoin Core and then restarting it has never failed to work for me. You will also notice that I now have the option to create a new wallet. I don't use the Bitcoin Core wallet. Instead, I use Sparrow Wallet and connect Sparrow Wallet to my Bitcoin Core node. So in the future, I will put a video together on how to connect Bitcoin Core to your Sparrow Wallet. And if you found this video valuable, consider liking and subscribing and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers, everyone.